be careful who you let into your home part four. Hello, are you Nula? No, I am not, I can't be. Not in my life, or after. I don't understand, what is wrong? Is everything okay? Are you here to see her? I guess so, is anything the matter? Oh my goodness, so you have not heard. Heard what? Heard what, Larissa, what are you talking about? Nothing, absolutely nothing. I will be in the dining room. Ignore her please, that was my other niece. Larissa. What was she talking about? She sounded strange. Oh, never mind, she's always like that. Please let's go to the dinner table. It's time to eat. Oh my goodness. That was close. I have to be careful the way I handle things here. I won't want to give my auntie a bad impression of me. Yes, I have to try another way to ruin this upcoming relationship. My gosh, that guy is so cute. And he looks rich too. I think I like him. Him. What if? What if I make him mine? Yes, I will make him mine. With him, I don't need to look for a job, a house, or even the need to live in this city, because I will be traveling everywhere in the world, and I will own everything. I will make sure I lure that fine man to myself. Yes. Nula, I will take him from you, and I will make him mine. Forever. Yes. Jackpot. <laughs> I better go and set up the dining and get this party started. Yes, I believe auntie will be so impressed with this. Larissa. Yes auntie. Is the dining set? Yes auntie. Dinner is set everyone can come to the dining now. Okay, awesome. I better think fast on how to win this guy's attention tonight. I think I need to call Judy, maybe, she can come with a very good idea that could help me. Yes, that's what exactly I will do. I better check no one is coming. I think the coast is clear. Let me quickly call Judy. Who is this calling me by this time of the night? Ah, it's Larissa. I better pick. Hello Larissa. Ah, what? Like seriously, who is this guy, if I may ask? Oh no, I know him. Yes, he is the son of a multi-millionaire. Listen Larissa, you must stop that relationship from starting. Nuella is evil, and she doesn't deserve such a fine rich man. Wait a minute, are you saying, you want him for yourself? That's so simple. I will help you, but you have to ensure you don't mess things up. I will forward you some pictures and videos. The pictures and videos contains deep secrets about Nuella. Forward them to this man and the rest is history. Once you forward the video and pictures to him, make sure you delete it from your phone. I will talk to you later, someone is at the door. Oh, okay, thanks so much. I will be waiting for your message. Yeah, okay, thanks. Bye Judy. Yes, I am so happy. 
I just knew that, that Judy girl is a genius. I can't wait to get that message so that I can forward it to my soon become man. Ahem. <coughs> Your soon become man. Ah, Mueller, what are you doing here? I should be asking you, what are you doing here? We are about to start eating. Oh, nothing, just came out for fresh air. I see. How long have you been standing there? So, you have been listening to my conversation. Me, listening to your conversation? No, I was just coming out and all I heard was you, talking about your man. So you have a man, and you never mentioned him. <laughs> That's fine, keep giggling, one day, we will get to know this man. Of course, you will. Now let's go inside and eat. No worries, let's go inside, everyone is waiting. Have you met your guest? Not yet. Thanks Mrs. Teresa for having me join your lovely family for dinner. I must say, I really enjoyed the food. It was so tasty. You are welcome, but all thanks to our great chef Nuella. She's really a great cook. Really? Wow. Thanks Mula, I really enjoyed your cooking. I love it. You do, thank you. I am glad you enjoyed my dishes. Well, I will be back shortly. I need to make a quick call. See you soon my dear. Alright ma. Nuella, make sure he is comfortable. Is that okay? Okay Andy, I sure will. See you soon. Do you need me to get you anything? No, I am fine. I have ate too much. Oh, okay. I must confess, once again, you are really a great cook. I really enjoyed the food. Thank you. I am glad you enjoyed it. Do you mind if I ask you to visit me sometime so that you can please prepare me this amazing, sumptuous meal I ate today? Well, I will think about it and get back to you. Please, while you are thinking about it, please try and consider me at last. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that you chose the city. Yeah, I love the life here, the people are amazing and modern. Same reason I love the city. You wow. see, we both see love the way similar he things. Is praising her. I am beginning to like you very much. Just because I like same things like yours. Wow, please don't make me laugh. Please laugh, it's a free world. <laughs> <laughs> so why did you leave Canada? I think I love the weather here the most. Not just that, the food too. Oh, I see, you seem to like food too much. Not only that, our social life here is nothing to compare with that of Canada. It's so boring in the Western world. I see. No place like home. Exactly. So, please tell me more about yourself. I am really interested to know you more. I thought that Judy girl said she would send me a message to forward to him. What's keeping her from sending it? Has she changed her mind? I really like you. Please can we be friends? Of course. We can be friends. Oh yes. Thanks so much. I am so grateful. You are welcome. No, she can't. I don't understand why she would change her mind suddenly. She better forwards it, so that, this chemistry, I am sensing among this two would die instantly. I can't fold my hands and stand watching them fall for each other. No, I won't allow this happen. <laughs> I know this will make you happy. Oh yes, I really love the gist. Oh no, I have just remembered something. What is it? Don't worry, wait here. Where are you going? Don't worry, I will be right back. Just wait for me here. Don't leave, I am really enjoying your gist. Okay, I will. I am beginning to dislike all the things my sister is doing to Anna and her sister. She thinks I don't know all the evil she has been doing. First it was, Anna, Linda, Nuella, now Larissa. I won't fold my hands and watch her ruining people's happiness. What do I do now? Ah, ha, I know what to do. I remember hearing her talking about sending Nuella's photo and video to Larissa. I better delete those photos and videos from her phone, before she sends it and cause more problems for that poor innocent girl and her family. It is high time I expose my sister. She's beginning to do too much. I love her so much, but, I can't help watching her ruin people's lives. No, this has to stop. 
I think she's coming. I better delete the photos fast. Where is her phone? Ah, there it is. I better scroll quickly and delete them now. Wow, that's a lot of pictures and videos. Oh my gosh, it's a lot. Yes, that's done. She's so close. Yes, I am back. Now tell me, where did we stop in the gist? Oh, yes, the gist. I can't watch this too having a quality friendly time. I better go up and call Judy. I wonder what's taking her so long to get back to me. I am beginning to like you very much. Just because I like same things like yours. Wow, please don't make me laugh. You seem to like food too much. Not only that, our social life here is nothing to compare with that of Canada. Wait a minute, is it not better? I just go in and tell auntie that Nula is not suitable for that young man. So, please tell me more about yourself. I am really interested to No, that's quite desperate. Auntie will be so disappointed at me. But this is just too sad to watch. Why is my case different? Why? For goodness sake, I deserve to be happy. How come Nula who is evil, is now getting all this favor from my auntie? I can't believe that, a girl I'm older than, with three years is doing better than me. After all the evil she has done to my cousin. No this can't be. I believe she has bewitched my auntie and everyone. I must get to the root of all this. I will ruin your life Mueller. I will make sure I torment you. I will make sure you suffer. I promise you. What is all this you were saying, Larissa? So, your plan is to ruin your cousin's happiness here in the city? No, that is not what I meant uncle, I don't plan to ruin anyone's happiness. Trust me. Will you keep quiet? What has gotten over you? Why do you hate Nuella so much? I am sorry uncle, I don't mean any harm. I see. Listen young lady, if you don't open up to me what's wrong, I will send you back to your parents and I will tell them everything you have just said. No please uncle, I will tell you everything. I promise. Please don't tell my parents what you have heard. Please. What's happening? Where are the videos and photos on my phone? How come my pictures and videos are deleted from my phone? This is not happening. Err, no, this can't be happening now. Come on Judy, what kind of useless phone do you have? I feel so useless now. I am so pained right now. No, this cannot be happening. What do I tell Larissa now? What do I do now? I have promised to send her those pictures and videos, and now, this is happening. Why am I always failing? I just can't understand why. I think I still need to see the Queen Mother. Only her can help in this situation. I better go and see her. I don't care anymore, if she's disappointed with me or not. I just have to see her. So that's everything that has happened. Oh my god, I can't believe this. So you mean that, Judy, who happens to be Nuella's best friend, encouraged you to do all these things? Yes. I am sorry sir. No. You have to say sorry to Nuella, not me. But. No buts. Just go out there, and repeat all that you have said yo me to Nuella. Then you will be forgiven. Agreed. Okay sir, I will. Thanks for giving me your phone number. I will make sure I keep in touch always. No worries, that's fine. Oh, it's already late. I think I will have to take my leave. I must say, I really enjoy your company and I am very pleased to see your beautiful face. I am so pleased to see you too. I have really had a great time with you today. Please, can we do this again? No problems at all. Can I ask us to pray before you leave please? 
Wow, I will be so grateful to pray with you. Okay then, let us pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, whose glory fills the whole creation, and whose presence we find wherever we go, we thank you for today's meeting and dinner, we appreciate you for bringing us together as friends, and making us know each other in your presence. Amen. Lord, teach us to be loyal in this friendship. You are our most excellent example, never leaving and always walking beside us no matter what season we face. In times of need, may we provide a calm presence in this friendship. Teach us to listen carefully to each other. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. We pray that, you guide our steps in this friendship, and never lead us astray. Preserve our friendship. I also pray you preserve my friend as he travels back home tonight, surround him with your loving care, protect him from every danger, and bring him in safety as he drives back home, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. That was so sweet. <clears throat> Nuella, your cousin has something to tell you. Larissa, is everything okay? I have something to say to you. Okay, please come and sit down with me, please. Okay. Um, I will have to go, so you guys can discuss. Thanks Pastor Sir, for letting have a beautiful time with your family and with my friend. The pleasure is ours, thanks for coming. Please let your wife know that, I am grateful for the invite and for the dinner once again. She will hear, please send my love to your parents. I sure will. Bye Nula, bye Larissa. Bye dear. Bye Mr. James. James, please drive safely back home. So, Nuella, please, listen attentively to what Larissa has to say. Let me grab a sit. What's the problem Larissa? Is everything okay? Hey sis, are you going out? Yes, where is mom and dad? They have gone to bed. So tell me, where are you going to this night? It's past 9 p.m. It's none of your business. Just watch the TV you enjoy watching. I will be back soon. I think I need to tell you this sis. Whatever you are doing please, be careful. You, be careful the way you talk to me. What do you know, I am doing? If you don't stay out of my business, you will get hurt. Don't say I didn't warn you. I am only telling you to stop whatever you are doing that is causing you more harm than good. Please let it go. Leslie, I am warning you for the last time. Do not interfere in my business. If you must know, I have no reason to listen to a little girl like you. What do you know? Absolutely nothing. So, stop worrying about me. I will be fine. Just let me be. Stand up from there and come and shut the door. I will be back soon. Okay, fine. I know she's up to something again. But, what should I do now? Tell mom and dad. No, that will a bad idea. Or, should I call Nuella and inform her of all that is going on? No, that will ruin their friendship. So what do I do now? I am so confused. <gasps> hey, young lady. Yes, how may I help you old woman? Please wait, I need to ask you something. Please bear with me, I really need to speak to you. Please, how are you my dear? Is that what you want to ask me? No, that's not what I want to ask you. So, what's your question old woman, please hurry up. I have somewhere I have to go to, and I am running late. Why are you going back and forth to do evil? Ain't you tired? Excuse me, you don't know me, so, why judge me? I know you, and what I don't know is, why do you allow yourself to be used by the devil? Stop it old woman, how dare you stop me to insult me? Listen Judy, the paths you are walking will swallow you up, if you are not careful. Matthew 3, 2-3 KJV says, and I quote, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Esaias, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Get out of my way, you old witch. I don't have your time to listen to this rubbish you are spitting out. That journey you are taking is going to ruin you. Change from your ways, Judy. Listen to the voice of the Lord. Go back home, Judy. You have to go back or else what you will see on your way to the Queen Mother's Shrine will end you in pity.
Go, I don't care, rubbish, where is she? I said it, she is a distraction. I better hurry up to the Queen Mother's shrine. So, when I remember what Judy told me about you, how you planned to kill Anna, and how you hate me so much. This hurts me so badly that I agree with Judy to visit you instead to make peace but to cause you pain and troubles. When I tried turning Auntie Mind against you, it didn't work, so I tried ruining your date with James, but, that too didn't work. I got frustrated and was planning more ways to harm you. The more I tried, the more I failed. I then contacted Judy again, and she promised to send me some horrible videos and pictures of you, so that, I can send it to James. I am just knowing this James today. He is not even my boyfriend or lover, so why all this? I know, but I was just jealous. Because Judy told me that he was rich. And I deserve to be the one who gets a man first before you. So I felt I can have him all to myself, but that didn't work either. Oh no, oh my goodness. I am so sorry Mula, I genuinely wanted to visit you for peace. But my visit to Judy's house, turned everything around. It is true that, I felt that way about you and my sister Anna, but that was in the past. I am a different person now. I am saved and I am glad I have found Jesus Christ in my life. Remember I told you uncle. Yes you did, and that was the joy that made me and my wife, changed our mind to help you. We know you are a beautiful woman with a beautiful soul. We knew that, the death of your father broke your heart and that gave the devil the room to use you carry out all the evil you did in the past. Exactly, and I feel so ashamed of my past behavior. And I am so sorry for all my wickedness, anger, and selfishness has caused you, to my sister, and to the entire family, in the past. You are forgiven my dear. And as for Judy, I am glad we are no longer friends. Her friendship has caused me more harm than good. Wait a minute, did you just say, you two are no longer friends? I stopped being her friend, the moment I gave my life to Christ. I try to convince her to give her life to Christ Jesus, but she will not stop bringing evil plans towards my sister to me, so I had to cut her off. Oh no, so she used me. Please forgive me for all the evil I have tried doing to you. I am deeply sorry. I promise to stick to you and not against you from today henceforth. Thank you, I forgive you, and I am happy we are good now. I am happy to see you two good again. All glory belongs to God. Now listen both of you. You two must have learned one or two things from this incident. Am I right? Of course uncle. May I ask what you have learned? Never to trust anyone, not even your family members. But I said I am sorry. It's just a lesson I've learned sis. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one. But the main point is be careful who you let into your home. Because it is only those you give access into your home, that can come in and destroy your home. It is in this context that Jesus explains, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy, I have come that they may have life, and have it to the full, John 10.10. 10. Hmm, so true. Some people come to our home in pretense to make peace, while some may come as friends, and family, some might even come to seek for help while others may come to our home as brethren of Christ. But let's be careful. The Bible features many verses about fake friends, including these key verses. Proverbs 12 26. The righteous choose their friends carefully, but the way of the wicked leads them astray. Psalm 41. 9. Even my close friend, someone I trusted, has failed me. I even shared my bread with him. The Bible does not tell us to continue in relationships with people who have damaged us or are still damaging us, family or not. In fact, the scriptures are full of teachings instructing us to leave relationships with wicked or evil people, to be separate from them, to shun, outcast, and purge them from our midst. 1 Corinthians 15.33, Proverbs 13.20, Psalm 1, 1, Proverbs 6.27, 1 Corinthians 5.11, 1 Corinthians 10.13 These are just a few. Parents and siblings are no different. Jesus told the disciples, but when they persecute you in this city, flee ye into another. Matthew 10 23, God did not tell them not to love, he told them to love them from a distance, a great distance because we all must love, 
We are commanded to love but we are not commanded to love what the evil do. So you <coughs> see. What's going on here, Nuella? I thought you and Larissa has gone home. What are you two up to? Erm, um, Auntie, we were having a discussion with Uncle. Yes we are. And we'll be leaving shortly. Uncle is just blessing us with words of wisdom. Oh yes, we were having a peaceful talk. I see, I love that. Well, I will be driving them home. Meanwhile, James sends his regards. Oh, I hope he had a great time here. Yes he did. Alright, ladies, please rise, let's pray before we leave. Lord we thank you for today's gathering. We appreciate Amen. you for the peace that you have brought us. We say thank you Lord, Amen. merciful Father, forgive us for all acts of sinfulness. Forgive us for not standing Amen. in our power and authority as your sons and daughters. Forgive us for failing to recognize that the spirit who lives in us is greater than that which lives in this world. Amen. Father, forgive us for acting religious, but rejecting Amen. the power that could make us more godly. Holy Spirit, remind us of those we need to forgive Amen. and help us to be quick to forgive ourselves and others. A Psalm 109 states that, For wicked and deceitful men have opened their mouths against me, they have Amen. spoken against me with lying tongues. With words of Amen. hatred they surround me, they attack me without cause. Lord Jesus, shut them up. Amen. Lock them out of our life for good in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father, thank you for being our warrior, Yahweh is your name. Thank you, Amen. Lord God, for going with us. You fight against Amen. our enemies and give us victory. Thank you for enabling us to take our positions, stand still, and watch Amen. the Lord's victory. Righteous Father, we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against Amen. mighty powers, and evil spirits in the heavenly places. Amen. Today we dress ourselves in your armor so that we will be able to stand firm against all strategies of Amen. evil. We will stand our ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. Being fully prepared, we put on our Amen. shoes of peace that come from the good news, and hold up the shield Amen. of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. We put on salvation as our helmet, and take the sword Amen. of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. We will always pray in the Spirit and on every occasion, staying alert and being persistent in our prayers for all believers Amen. everywhere. We stand firm against every Amen. demonic attack in the form of active shooters, bullies, terrorists, character assassins, abusers, Amen. rebels, and rivals. No weapon that is turned against us will succeed. We silence every voice raised up to accuse us, for the Lord is our vindicator. Amen. The thief may come to steal, kill, Amen. and destroy, but Lord your promise is to give us a rich and satisfying life. We declare that every enemy Amen. is destroyed in the name and power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Holy Spirit, help us to stay alert, and watch out for our enemy, the Amen. devil, who prowls around like a roaring lion, Amen. looking for someone to devour. Although we are human, help us not to fight as humans do, but use God's Amen. mighty weapons, not the world's weapons, to knock down and destroy strongholds of human reasoning and false arguments. Lord God, teach us how to humble ourselves Amen. before you and resist the devil, so he will flee Amen. from us. We will not embrace a spirit of fear or timidity, but walk in power, love, and self-discipline. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit, help us not to yield to temptation but deliver us from the evil one. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, Amen. who trains my hands for war, and my fingers for battle. The Lord himself will fight for us when we just stay Amen. calm. All honor and glory to God forever and ever. He is the eternal King, the unseen one who never dies, he alone is God. Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. Queen Mother, Queen Mother please, I need to speak to you. Please, oh my goodness, I hope she's not still angry with me. What brought you here, Judy? I thought you had moved on, and you don't need my help anymore. So, tell me, why are you here? I hail thee Queen Mother. Please, I am so sorry for doubting you. I thought I could handle things myself, but unfortunately, I lied to myself. <laughs> now you see I am important in your life. Listen Judy, you can never be useful without me in your life. We have a covenant from the moment you set your feet in my shrine. I do, but how? Because, I never remember as taking an oath or something. Oh, you think so? I know so. Wait, let me educate you. First, what is the meaning of covenant? 
I can see you don't really know. Well, a covenant is an accepted decision between two parties. It could be more than two. It can be described as an agreement between two or more people to establish a relationship in which promises, responsibility and punishment for breaking the covenant are made. Covenant is legally binding. It is irreversible. It is the final irrevocable commitment. It is like a chain binding two people together. The covenant made the two to have one thing in common that keep them together. But, wait a minute, how did we have this covenant in the first place? Listen carefully, the king of the world, and of the soul of men, the devil, has corrupted the original intention of covenant. He has created a covenant called evil covenant. It could be conscious evil covenant, or unconscious evil covenant. It could be satanic. The devil, our master, is always looking for who to devour. Certain things are important for forming a covenant, one. People 2. Words 3. Reason 4. Place 5. Blessings or punishment for breaking the covenant. Words are very vital for forming a covenant, silent or loud, verbal, written or thought. There is a powerful connection between words and covenant. Broken covenant is deadly. It may lead to chronic poverty, disaster, sudden death, calamity, barrenness and madness. Evil covenant is like a primitive trade by barter. It is an exchange. For example, the satanic priest can say, if you can sleep in the grave for so-so days, you will be rich, if you can sleep with a young virgin. I still don't understand. Okay, I know you want to know, how do people enter into evil covenants? Is that right? Yes, please, tell me. Number one, is, sex outside marriage, it does not matter if you use condom, a covenant is made. 1 Corinthians 6 16, what? Know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? For two, saith he, shall be one flesh, so, one plus one equals one. During sex many things are transferred, diseases, body fluid, and liquid. Spiritually, a lot of transaction take place, a lady dedicated to marine shrine will have many demons, let's say 100 demons, this lady now sleep with a clean man, this man will collect 50 demons from this lady. Again, this man with 50 demons is now sexually loose, he begins to sleep with another girl, the new girl will get 25 out of the 50. It goes on and on. The life of this man is divided, shared, anytime he does it, he can never remain the same. You are a complete example. Also, the first time you had sex and the way it was done, has a heavy spiritual consequence. Number two, is, pictures, if you have promised to marry somebody and you change your mind about that person, your picture in the hand of your former boyfriend or girlfriend is a powerful tool to enter into evil covenant. Example is the lady you brought few years ago for me to help, she later came back for me to tie her boyfriend to marry her. Of which, they are currently married. Ah, so Jane tied her husband. Oh no, no wonder. I said it. How can he marry her after all she has done to him in the past? Well, that's by the way. Number three, is by blood, every incision, cut in the body, mark in the body are all covenants. Lovers cutting each other, mixing the blood with wine in a container to drink is a terrible covenant. Blood covenant is the most powerful because life is in the blood. You remember the wine substance I gave you to give to Linda? Wine, oh, yes I remember. What about it? It has my blood in it and remember you drank from it too. So, that is where our covenant was made. <gasps> yes, that's the fact. Number four, is, by counterfeit religion. The devil has corrupted covenant, he has created counterfeit. Whenever you see original, there must be counterfeit. This is the reason behind various spiritual houses called churches with shrine where they burn candles, incense and are using holy water. They are all covenant houses set up as a trap for idolatry and occultism. Number five, is by, occultic covenant, cult society, they swear allegiance promising they will never leave the group with blood. Number six, is by food and drinks, food collected from agent of darkness or satanic altar. Beware, food can kill especially free food. Parents should warn their children. They could be initiated into the demonic world through food. You have eaten my food and drank from my pot of wine, so yes, you are already into a covenant with me. 
Are you surprised? Don't be. You belong to me. Moving on to number seven. Finally is by demonic fashion. Wearing clothes that expose your body will give demons access to your body. Demonic ring repackaged as wedding ring. Historically and biblically, jewelry had connections with idolatry, charms, spells, and enchantment. People put on rings for good luck, for transfer of virtue, to beat or even kill. Almost all occult societies have their own rings on their fingers, even, preachers and Christians are not left out. Rings sold in various markets are not only for fashion, those rings have power to connect you to the demonic world against your wish. A single ring could destroy your life forever. It could actually turn you to a money-making machine. What are the signs that evil covenants are in place? When problems are resistant to prayers and counseling, you command the demon to go, and the demon says no. A very bad habit that is difficult to break, addicted to drugs, smoking, alcoholism. An example of demonic clothing and ring, was the clothes given to Anna to wear for her interview. And the necklace she was asked to wear to work. So you see, we both have a serious covenant going on all this while. You lie. I don't belong to you. I can't believe you are saying all this. How can? No, I don't believe you. Are you doubting me? Watch this. What are you doing to me? <laughs> that is to tell you that I own you. Please stop. I believe you. Now you will remain loyal 100% to me. No turning back. Yes, my queen. Finally, she is back from God knows where. Hold on. I am coming. Who are you? And how may I help you? Hello young lady, I am George. And I am here to see a lady called Judy. Judy, is she in trouble? No, not at all. I have a message for her. It's urgent and it's a matter of life and death. Has she killed someone? No, but her life is in great danger. Danger, that's serious. Please, take me to her. Like seriously, please, who do you say you are again? Listen, I am Pastor George, I was in the neighborhood with my team praying and evangelizing, when the Spirit of God led me to this house to pray for a lady called Judy. Are your parents in? Because, I really need someone to lead me to this lady. It's urgent. They are in, but they are sleeping. The lady you are looking for, is my elder sister. She's not in the house. And, my parents are not aware she's not in the house. Ah, so, Judy is not in the house. No. She went out and I guess I know where she has gone to. Please take me to her. It's urgent. Your sister is in great trouble, and the prayers of the saints have led God to have mercy and to deliver her before it's too late. Thank you Jesus. I will be back please. Let me change into something else. Then I'll get my car keys too. Okay, but please be fast. Thank you God because we know you will deliver Judy and make her a better person. Let her see how horrible it is to sin against you and against the people around her in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you Jesus. It is done. Wow. That was an intense prayer. I believe that you really moved the Spirit of God tonight. I believe so too, because, I felt a move in my spirit. I am really glad that, I made time to visit you, and to make things right. I am also glad that, Uncle encouraged us to do this for Judy. I hope God shows her mercy. I hope so too, but you know what? Matthew 5:44 in context state that, but I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. In verse 45, it says, that you may be children of your Father in heaven. He causes his Son to rise on the evil and the good, and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. I will continue to pray for her until I hear that, she's a better person. I never knew how much people can hate so much, not until I experienced it myself. Before, I used to think it's just a normal thing to build hatred for someone over a period of time. But no, I am wrong. It is witchcraft. It's evil from the pit of hell. Exactly, you know what, Judy was so good at the idea of something causing another to have feelings of hatred towards someone or something over time. She is so good at it that, she dedicates her time to help you achieve your goal in ruining other people's lives. That was what she did to me. And I never knew she was doing that, to achieve her aims towards making you sad. 
Remember, Satan is the ruler of this world, 1 John 5 19, we know we originate with God, but the world is lying in the power of the wicked one. Satan tempts people by using their own weaknesses, quick temper, our tendency to lie, our violence, our gossip and slander, our tendency to maliciousness, our pride, and he is very forceful, so we need to know the Bible well and a strong faith in our Heavenly Father, and in our Savior, Jesus Christ to be able to overcome him. So true, but I wonder how people allow this happens. Satan observes humans, what they watch in TV, how they speak to others, and their attitudes towards them, so as to see what human he can use for his evil purposes. 1 Peter 5, 8 says, Keep your senses, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking to devour someone. Satan is the ruler of the world, but true Christians who worship Jehovah the Most High God, the God of the Bible, we are not under Satan's rule, because we have the Most High God, who helps us, if we pray against Satan the devil. True. I am happy to have learned so much from you. God bless you. God bless you too. So tell me, how is work and everything? Ah, work is awesome, speaking of that, there is a position that came out, at our other branch office, in the outsketch part of the city. How about you, applying for it? Ah, really? Please send me the job post, I don't mind applying. No worries, I will send it to you, and I will guide you through the process. You must get it. I claim it in Jesus Christ's name. Where is this place? It's a place I have heard my sister say several times over the phone to her friends, to meet a queen mother. I have seen a picture of it too on my sister phone. I believe, she's here. Well, now you are here, I have a bad news for you Judy. I don't understand Queen Mother. What's the bad news? You have failed several times in your mission and it's time to pay for all the failures. But, I have apologized to you, and I am still very sorry. Please forgive me. I think I can hear her voice. She's speaking with someone. You know what, go back to the car and wait for me there. But why? I want to see my sister. No listen, it's not safe to step your feet into that shrine. There can be transfers of evil spirits. Please go and wait for men in the car. While you are there, please, pray for your sister Victory. She's under the afflictions and influence of the devil. Okay, I will. I bind you right now as my captive for tonight's sacrifice. We need blood by all means. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to let Judy go. As I take a step into this evil shrine, I plead the blood of Jesus over every part of my being. Sacrifice. I promise not to fail you ever And I command every single demons present here to lose their power in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Isaiah 54, 17 says, No weapon that is formed against you will succeed, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment you will condemn. No, no, please, I don't want to die. Somebody please help me. Shut up. The sacrifice is ready my lord. Is she qualified for being my ultimate sacrifice? Yes my lord. Put her in the casket, so that we can kill and spill her blood. Yes my lord, your wish is my command. Wait a minute, I sense a presence, I think someone is outside. Go outside and check quickly, before we carry on with the sacrifice. Okay my lord. I command any demon or demons holding Judy captives to appear right now in Jesus Christ's name. Who are you, and why are you here? Why are you disturbing our rituals tonight? Be quiet demon. Heavenly Father I pray for your strength and courage, I pray that I would be strong in today's battle. I pray that you would give me the strength and courage that only comes from you and you alone. I pray that like Joshua I would be strong and very courageous and not be afraid to face these enemies of our soul, nor be dismayed by the spiritual armies that encompass me round about. Stop it, or I kill you with my bare arms. Lord I am aware that there are many forms of opposition surrounding me right now, many strongholds that has kept your daughter, Judy's soul, and enslaved and captive and which prevent her from being good and obeying the things of the Lord and in his mighty power in this evil day, but I pray that by your grace and in the power of the Holy Spirit, she will be set free tonight and I would be strong in the today's battle, to set her completely free, and she will abide in Christ Jesus, who is our shield and buckler, our defense and our defender, and in whose name I pray, Amen.
I clothe myself with your armor of light, O Lord, and has mentioned in Ephesians 6.11, guarding me against the wiles of darkness that seek to harm me or your daughter Judy. Your word promises in Psalm 121, 7-8 that you will keep her from all evil and preserve her soul. May your angels stand guard over her, guiding my steps to rescue her, and ensuring that no weapon formed against your child shall prosper. Grant her discernment to recognize and avoid the snares of the evil one, and grant me peace in the knowledge of your unfailing presence. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, Amen. I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let Judy go right now in Jesus Christ's name. No, she is a sinner, and she now belongs to us. She made covenant with the kingdom of darkness, and she remains our captive. You lie demon. 1 Timothy 1.15 says, Here is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the worst. Romans 5.8 says, But God demonstrates his own love toward us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Judy is a child of the Most High God, but you lured her to sin. God has shown her mercy, through the prayer and intercessions of her friends and loved ones. And Judy must be set free tonight. I release a spirit-filled disability, to your body right now. Be paralyzed, you wick demon from the pit of hell. Ah, my body is paralyzed. Please, Lucifer, save me. Let Judy go now, in Jesus Christ's name. You can't have her. Go away. Get behind me, Satan. I will slap you with an holy anointed slap. Thank you, Jesus. Judy. Help Hello, me. Judy, Somebody are you in there? I am right here. Please, help. I need you to help me. Please, help. Help me. Help. Help me. It's okay. I am here to deliver you. I am Pastor George. Save me, Pastor. I was about to be used for a sacrifice. I cast out every covenant you have made with the devil. Be set free right now in Jesus Christ's name. Where am I? What just happened? Praise God Judy you are free from every captivity of sin and evil. And who are you? I am Pastor George. Congratulations my dear. God has sent me to save and deliver you through his mercy. You were almost killed, but God says no. It's not yet time for you to die. Because he loves you. Now are you ready to accept our Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? Yes please, please pray for me Pastor. Please repeat after me, say Lord Jesus. As days turned into weeks, weeks into months, Noella and James' friendship grew into a beautiful relationship that was based on godliness. The two always meet up and spend quality time. Then, one night after their meeting, James took Noella out on a surprise date when this happens. How have you been, my dear? God has been faithful. You look beautiful. I love your new hair. It's lovely. Just like you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, James. You always know how to make me smile. It's my duty. But today, I want to add more smile to your beautiful, lovely face. Please, do. I love it. Nula Dorothy Benson. Will you remain my best friend for life? Will you be the mother of my children? And will you grow old in the love and fear of God with me? Please, say yes because you mean everything to me. Of course, James Johnson, I will marry you a million times again and again. Please come here, give me the cute finger. It's so beautiful, thank you. No, you thank you. Hey Larissa, please come with me to the shores I want to show you something. What could that be? Don't worry, you will find out soon. Hi, my name is Tim, can I get to know you please? I am Anna, Anna Benson's. Hmm, that name sounds familiar. 
Really? Well, Anna is a very common name, if you know what I mean. I do get your point but, I have that same name, working for me in my US company. Maybe you two might be related or something. What company is that? ABC Technology Limited. Ah, are you Mr. Timothy Baker? That's my father, Miam is junior. I head the US branch of our companies. Oh my goodness, I am sitting with my boss. Are you the Anna? Wow, I have heard so many good things about you. I am glad you did. The two became friends and their relationship went on and on over the months. Excuse me, I think you look familiar. Chris. Linda, so it's you. Oh my goodness, thank God I finally found you. Hey, I know I hurt you so badly in the past, but please give me the chance to explain. What is it, you want to explain? After all we had together, you left me for Nula. No, that was not what happened. I love you so much. But there's this girl called Judy, she wanted me so badly, so she couldn't because, obviously, I don't love her. So she used Nuella to seduce me and I fell for it. But I regretted my actions. Please, I am so sorry. How do I know, you won't do the same to me again? I promise, I won't. You look so beautiful, my gosh. Thank you, you don't look bad yourself. Oh my goodness, I am super excited to see you again. Can I hug you please? Of course yes, you can. The two reunited and started from where they ended their relationship before, and it was really a good comeback for them. Few months later, Judy kept writing professional exams and attending interviews. Day and night, Judy studied and attended interviews. Even when nothing seems to happen, she didn't give up studying and applying for jobs. She kept on praying and believing God that one day she will receive good news. She was in her usual place when she had a knock. Then this happened. I just hope one of this applications goes through. Please Lord Jesus, help me. Yes, come in. Hi sis, you've got a letter from the postman. Wait, I am busy my dear. Okay, where is, well, just leave it on the table in the living room. I will come get it soon. Thanks. Okay sis. Where is the letter? It's right there. Oh, it's three letters. What's inside? What's it sis? Nuella and Larissa are both getting married the same week. Ah, wow, that's awesome. I am so happy for them. Who are the lucky men? Nuella is getting married to James Johnson, while Larissa is getting married to a pastor called Benjamin Smith. Ah, I know him. He is the popular pastor Smith's son, the one heading the Australian church branch. Wow, I am so happy for them. Me too. So, what is in the last letter? Another marriage. Is it Anna this time? No, it's me. What do you mean, you? Are you also getting married? No, I have got a seven-figure job. What? Oh wow, congratulations. I am so happy for you. I am so excited. Thank you Jesus. The sisters were celebrating the good news when another good news came. The following day, this time, it was a letter of admission for young Leslie to go to the best university in the city. Guess what sis? What? Mum and dad bought you the gift you long asked for. No, I am too big for that now. Then, what's the excitement all about? I have been awarded scholarships and admission into the best prestigious university in the city. Wow, congratulations. I am so proud of you. Thanks sis. I just want to thank you Jesus. Thank you my lord for your goodness and mercies in my life. Thank you Jesus. Thank you my lord for your goodness and mercies in my life. Few years later, Anna got married to her boss's son in the US and Nula had a set of twins. Larissa was blessed with a beautiful daughter and Linda was engaged to her longtime sweetheart, the one that left her for Nula, back then, in the university. They both reconciled and got back again. 
Judy wasn't left out either, she was seeing a brother in her church, who also engaged her, and they all lived happily ever after. Hi everyone, thanks for watching that amazing episodes. And I hope you enjoyed it. Meanwhile, a new video titled, The Christmas Present, will be showing on Christmas Day. Make sure you watch it, because, you will learn a lot from it. Before I go, I will like to use this opportunity to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year in advance. Make sure you show some love to the world, this Christmas. And don't forget, Jesus is the reason for the season. To my subscribers, thanks so much for your feedback, love, and support this year. Please let's do more in 2024. Please, share the video, and if you have not subscribed yet to my channel, please kindly subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you will be among the first to be notified of my future videos. May God bless you richly as you do so. Bye for now, see you in my next video. Story by Quincy Onyakachi Okoy Oragwa. If you enjoyed this video, please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button, leave a comment and don't forget to share. Thanks for watching.